Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to continue working on our favorites viewer program. Now full credit for this program goes to the authors of Beginning Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 uh, and they are Theron Willis and Brian Newsom. Now they created this great program and I'm using it to teach you guys some Visual Basic concepts and how to program. So let's go ahead and run the program and we can see what we've done to, so far. So when we open up My Favorites, it loads in the favorites by using the favorites name and the URL. And we can select one of these and visit them. So if I visit the new Boston, it's going to open that up in my default web browser. So let's go ahead and we'll run this again. And you can see that when it opens up at the beginning, we have this ugly link label right here that says link label 1. And then when we click on it, the application freezes and crashes. So let's go ahead and make it so that when the program loads there will be a link in there that the user can uh, click on. So before they scan all of the favorites in, let's just go ahead and set that link. So we can use what we did down here because we want it to look similar to the rest of the design of the program and we want to keep it consistent. So we'll type link URL dot text equals visit and then we'll add the link that we want so we've got list favorites that select items right here so we'll just put our own link in there so we'll do http colon slash slash and um, let's just do let's say you have a developer website or something and you want to put that in there to kind of advertise for it or to let them know who created it so we can do www youtube.com slash onlive gamer or I could put the website for the rocks uh, publishing company because they created the book that has this program in it that would probably be better but for now we'll just leave it at this so once we set the, set the text we want to clear the links in there because if they try to click on something that says visit and then has a link it's going to try to open that link with the visit in front of it and it's just going to mess up so we'll type link URL dot links dot clear and now what we need to do is we'll use the same thing we did down here so we'll add a link and we'll start at index 6 and then we'll just add our link so we'll go to link url dot links dot add and let's find the version of this that we want so we want the start the length and the link data so the start is going to be starting at index 6 because we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then after this is when it's going to start. And we'll do length. Let's say, we, let's see, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So hopefully 32 will be correct. And the link data is going to be http colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash onlive gamer. Now this would probably be better to put this link into a variable and then use the variable dot, dot length, but this should work just fine. So hopefully when we run it, everything will work the way we want it to and it says visit and then it has our link so we can go ahead and click on that and it's going to open up the website so let's just fix that we need to go ahead and go two more places now you can see it's giving us um, the link here so let's just go ahead and replace this with on live gamer so we've got one two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10. So we want it to be start at 6 and go to, uh, let's see, the length, yeah, the length is going to be 10, and that's going to be our link. So when we visit on Live Gamer, it's going to open up the website. Now you can see here that we're missing the R. So let's go ahead, close out of this, and we'll make this 11. Okay, so now what we can do is let's go ahead and add a button that refreshes the 
favorites. So let's say you added a new favorite and you don't have to you don't want to have to close out of the program um, and then reopen it to add that favorite in there. So we can set the text of this to refresh and we can set the name to button refresh. Now this right here is not in the book. Um, I'm adding this myself. So I'll come back to or let's create an event for this first. So whenever they click refresh, what do we want to do? Well, we want to use all of this code right here. So what we can do is we can cut this code and let's put it into a sub. So we can come down here and type private sub load favorites and it's going to load the favorites into the list view. So before the, it loads the favorites into the list view, what we need to do is type list favorites dot items dot clear. So it'll clear it each time it reloads the favorites. So whenever it loads, we want to type load favorites. And then whenever they click refresh, we also want to load the favorites. So let's go ahead and run this. And you can see that everything's working fine. It's got our favorites and we can click on them. And now let's go to Internet Explorer and we'll just add a new favorite. So we'll just use the home page, which is msn.com, and we'll click Add to Favorites and we'll call it MSN. And then if we click Add, it's successfully added to our favorites. Now, if we minimize out of this and click Refresh, you can see that MSN is added to our list of favorites and that it will add visit MSN for us and we don't have to, do, to add any extra code um, because the way we've made this we can add an infinite number well not really an infinite number but a large number of links and favorites and it'll still work so we can also delete favorites so we'll go ahead and come to our favorites and let's just delete this so you can't see this on screen right now but there's an option called delete I deleted that favorite and then when I click refresh you can see that MSN is gone so go ahead put that code in if you haven't already um, and then once you've done that if you don't have any questions move on to the next tutorial